Now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Nate Larson. Good Monday morning. Well, hopefully you enjoyed your Mother's Day yesterday. Friday, or Friday and Saturday weren't too great, but we made up for it with the sunshine and the blue skies we saw, even with some cloud cover out there. Connor Ward was out uh, hiking along the Tetons, or at least in the Teton National Park. It was beautiful out there. We have a good start uh, for much of the areas. This morning we're dealing with some clouds. Most of us are staying dry, but we also have some sunshine poking through the clouds this morning. Redfish Lake, also a great start there, uh, looking out that window. We do, and we do have a risk of some showers today with these clouds moving in. It might not be till this afternoon till we see anything start to get going, and we're not expecting a lot of moisture out of this weak storm system anyway. Uh, but with the cooler temperatures and some of the cloud cover, we're going to see some more relief in the flooding although the flood warning is still in effect for much of the Salmon River into portions of Blaine, Custer County. Looking at uh, the river right now in Salmon, we're just above flood stage, just by an inch. So things are still moving pretty swiftly out there. And we're actually going to see uh, levels moderate or stay near um, where they are right now, if not improve as we head into the middle of the week with some cooling temperatures. Portniff River right now is at 10 feet this morning. So again, not doing so well along the Portniff this morning. Also, the Bear River is well above flood stage at 8.7 feet. Again, flood stage is at 7.5 feet, so we're going to see these elevated levels as we head into the week as well. Uh, we're going to see them even rise further as we head into the weekend with warmer temperatures out there. So uh, 30s and 40s this morning along the Snake River Plain. We're 34 in Jackson this morning, 35 in Soda Springs. Montpelier right at freezing this morning. Jackson, or excuse me, Stanley this morning at 28 degrees, 37 in Chalice, and 39 in Salmon. Not too windy this morning, but it's a little breezy for some of us. 12 miles Power winds in Du Bois, 11 here in the Gate City. We're five in Burley. Uh, looking at uh, western Wyoming, we're four mile per hour winds in Jackson. Storm tracker this morning. We've got a line of some ba or a band of some moisture moving through some of the Magic Valley area up into the central mountains. Uh, this swath of moisture, thanks to an area of low pressure down to the south and west of us, uh, you can kind of see it swirling down there over portions of uh, south or southern Nevada and, and uh, California. It's pumping up just enough moisture to give us the clouds and maybe even a few showers. The larger storm system, though, still off the Pacific, that's going to be here and it's going to impact our weather Tuesday evening into Wednesday. It's going to bring some much cooler temperatures as well. In fact, today you notice Future Tracker not giving us a huge threat of precipitation or indicating that we'll see a big chance. Over the Montana border, we're going to see a little bit more activity uh, and then portions of the Central Mountains could see a few showers. Heading into uh, Monday evening, Western Wyoming also getting in on some activity as well as the southeast corner. Tuesday, though, we get more widespread precipitation as our cold front comes through. It'll be here later on in the afternoon, so uh, Tuesday might start off as a pretty nice day for a lot of us. It's going to turn out, though, to be a pretty stormy uh, or active uh, day. In fact, as we head into Tuesday evening, our front's going to come through. We're going to see more chances of some showers. Could even see snow levels dip to the valley floors. In fact, it's anticipated we could see a trace to maybe two inches of snow in some areas. Uh, some of those mountain valleys could see anywhere from five to eight inches if, if everything pans out just right. So 60s today, 64 for Pocatello and for Idaho Falls. We're looking at 50s and 60s for the Central Mountains. In fact, 60 in Chalice, 61 in Salmon, and Stanley getting up from a chilly 20 this morning to 52 this afternoon, 60s in Jackson and in Afton. 70 forecast showing that it will be breezy tomorrow with that storm system coming in. We're going to have some winds we're dealing with on Wednesday as well. Chance of some rain and snow showers. Clearing out Friday and Saturday with another round of some wet weather in store for Sunday as we head into next week. Idaho Falls seeing a very similar pattern. We've got uh, some cold temperatures. In fact, overnight lows hovering near that freezing mark for several nights. Uh, but we will have temperatures just in the 40s on Wednesday, 55 on Thursday, and then clearing out, as I mentioned, for Friday and Saturday. Teton area, a few more showers possible. In fact, all snow showers possible Tuesday. Or Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon with that stormy weather. Saturday clearing out some 56 for the high. Otherwise, a little bit ominous of a forecast for most uh, areas. Central mountains, 55 on Tuesday, just 46 on Wednesday. And then a break from showers Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before we pick up again on Sunday with a high of just 66. So some thunderstorms, snow, rain. Sunshine. sunshine. Some warmer than cooler weather. Yeah, it's just a nice roller coaster ride <laughs> as we're rounding out the middle of May. So yep. what we that's, could expect. That's spring for you. That's right. Thank you, Nate.